If you're a Canadian employer whose business relies on certain unique, specialized uh, tools or products or, or processes, and you're wanting to transfer employees to Canada, chances are those employees may fall into what is called the specialized knowledge category of workers, and that you may be able to apply for Canadian work permits under the intra-company transferry program on their behalf. Welcome back. My name is Donovan Francis. I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer at Goose Law Immigration, where we help um, businesses bring foreign workers to Canada without the legal hassle. In this video, we'll be talking about the uh, specialized knowledge worker, which is a category of workers who may be eligible to apply for work permits inside Canada under what is known as the Intracompany Transferry Program, ICT. Now, this is going to be available to Canadian employers who have an uh, operation inside Canada and have an operation in some other country outside of Canada that is um, party to an applicable international trade agreement. Where there's a Canadian company that has a foreign operation and that company has employees in the foreign office who've been working there for at least a year and who the company now wants to transfer to Canada to provide support uh, to their Canadian operation, then it may be possible to uh, transfer those employees under the specialized knowledge worker category of the ICT. For an employee to be eligible as a specialized knowledge worker, that employee must have one of two things. Well, must have two things rather. Firstly, that employee must possess what is called advanced expertise in the particular um, area that uh, they operate in. And two, that employee must have what's called proprietary knowledge. Now, advanced expertise means that they must have industry experience. So if we are talking about a particular software, let's say the company has is a technology company and that the employees um, have been working um, within the tech space uh, using different software uh, over a set period of time, then the company may be able to argue that this employee has the necessary advanced expertise, you know, because they've worked within the company for a certain period of time. They've also worked within the industry. And so they would have developed this industry and company specific expertise uh, over time. Okay. So that's the first prong of the specialized knowledge worker requirement. The second prong has to do with proprietary knowledge. Proprietary knowledge simply means that the employee must show that they possess knowledge that is so unique that it cannot be found um, outside of the company and it definitely cannot be found inside Canada. And typically, they're going to be best able to prove this where they're able to show that the company has a particular product a particular tool, like a particular software that the company developed that's unique to the company, that is proprietary to the company, right? That no other company has and that that employee is um, uniquely knowledgeable in. So that is what the proprietary knowledge would be, where the, the employee has um, unique uh, knowledge about that specific uh, tool or, or product or, or, or procedure and that uh, it will not be possible to find anybody else, uh, definitely inside Canada, to fulfill the duties that you are wanting that employee to carry out inside Canada. So those two factors together are what make up the specialized knowledge category. So advanced expertise within the industry and within the, 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 the company, as well as very specific proprietary knowledge about specific tools such as software or products or procedure within the organization. And so if you're wanting to bring an employee to Canada and the employee uh, possesses proprietary knowledge and the employee also um, possesses advanced expertise, then chances are you may be able to bring that employee to Canada as a specialized knowledge worker under the ICT, subject of course to the other ICT requirements, including the requirement that the employee would have been employed in your company outside of Canada for at least one year in the last three years. All right. 
So I trust you found value from this. As always, remember to like our videos so others may see more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified the next time we publish a video. And check us out on go.goostlaw.com. Thanks. See you again.